All right, what's up, LG family? It's another week. Unfortunately, this one's going to be a little bit different than usual, uh, so you're going to have to bear with me on this one. Um, would like to start off by saying, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, probably because of the name of the title of this week's video, uh, it's really good to have you guys here. I'm glad you guys are here. Super blessed that you're here, and you're officially part of the LG family. That's right. All you got to do is click on one of my videos, and you're considered part of the LG family. Now, you don't have to subscribe to be actually be a part of the family, but it'd be greatly appreciated if you did helps out the channel and for those of you that have been returning week after week you guys are crazy awesome and super blessed you guys are here as well too uh to get it right out of the way this week's video is going to be different unfortunately there's no footage that i can show you guys the reason for that uh, it's pretty easy we had a trainee join us this week we did a week out on the road had a blast really good dude i think he's going to be a very successful driver um, but after a week of over the road, he decided that that's just not for him. He's, he wants to do something more local. Totally respect that. I get it. Family. Family always comes first. Don't ever forget that. And uh, because of that, over the road just isn't going to work for him right now. And uh, I can't show any of the footage with him in it. And if you watch my videos week after week, you'll realize that I put my trainees in the videos. Um, so I can't, I can't use any of it. But that's all right. But I figure what I do instead is take the time this week to talk about TMC. And uh, but usually I don't really promote them. I'm not a recruiter or nothing like that. I just like to show you guys what it's like to be an American trucker, flat better, what it's out on the road. Obviously, I work for TMC. And I consistently get people to ask me questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna answer some of them. Now, I do want to point out there's a lot of other TMC YouTubers out there, so don't hesitate to go out and explore and check out their channels as well, too. they got a lot of great content. But uh, yeah, we're going to roll the intro real quick and then talk about TMC for a bit. Roll it. So, essentially, what I wanted to talk about this week was the whole, the whole training process when it comes to TMC. Uh, that's pretty much what people ask me about, and I figured I'd break that up into kind of three different segments. All right, uh, the three segments I'm gonna break it up into. So I'm gonna break it up into orientation training, and then your release process. Those are the three things you're really gonna go through. Um, with TMC before you actually get your own truck. Now, TMC is it's a job. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna apply and either TMC is gonna accept you or they're gonna deny you. Uh, and then once you do get accepted in TMC, there's, <clears throat> it's kind of like three different processes. All right, you have your experienced drivers, which just means that you're already experienced, you've already been dr trucking. Uh, you got some time out on the road and you're just switching companies. Then you have your apprentice program. Uh, these are guys and gals that come from a trucking school looking for their first truck job and they decide to choose TMC. TMC does hire brand new drivers. All right, there's plenty of big companies out there that do it. TMC is one of them. And uh, why not give them a shot? As long as they hire in your area, obviously. And then the third one is the CDL assist program. Essentially what this program is for is for people that want to become a truck driver, get their CDL, but say you don't have a truck school where you live or around where you live, um, or you just don't have the finances to be able to get your CDL, because obviously it's not free, so you can actually apply to TMC. As long as you get your permit, then you come to TMC, we help you get your license. And then you're just contracted to work for TMC for a year, um, which is kind of a win-win. You get your CDL and you make money. Um, why not, <laughs> right? But a lot of other companies do offer that as well too. Just be smart about which company that you choose. Um, other than that, I really don't know much about the CDL program, so I really can't explain that to you guys, but I can explain the experience process and I can explain the apprentice process, process um, because the apprentice process is the process that I went through. And when I worked in the office for a couple of years, I was actually trained for the experience process. Uh, so I know how that works. All right, I did do a couple years in the office with TMC in the training uh, training department, and I've been a driver for the other half of that. So, um, yeah, 
uh, I got experience on both sides of it, so it makes it kind of useful. Um, so when you apply to TMC, again, you're going to get approved or denied. And then you're going to come to TMC and you're going to go through one of those three processes. There's two different locations that you're going to go to for orientation, depending on where you live in the States. You have Des Moines, Iowa, which is the corporate office, the home that's where the big bosses are at. That's where all the, uh, all that stuff's at. And we have a training center there. And then the other one is in Columbia, South Carolina. That's the other one. I did not go through that one. Um, but it's essentially the same process, so I'm just going to use Des Moines as an example. It essentially works the same in Columbia. But uh, so you'll get hired, they're going to give you your hire date or your acceptance date. No, they're going to give you your orientation date and when you're going to show up for orientation. For experienced drivers, your orientation is only going to be for a week. And then for your apprentice program, you guys are going to be two week orientation. Real easy, real quick. Nothing to it really. Um, pro tip. All right, or I guess a tip, kind of something to help you guys. If you do decide to come to TMC, something to kind of help you guys be successful during orientation. Be on time and have a writing utensil. Those are super, super, super important. Important. God, I cannot talk today. The big thing with being on time is if you can show that you're on time, you don't ever miss the bus and all that good stuff during orientation. That just shows us that you know you're not going to miss your time while you're out on the road, like appointment times, because that stuff's very important. And having your writing utensil just means that you're you have the right equipment all right um you just we don't want to hire lazy drivers obviously so if you're showing up and you're half-assing it you're not really trying you're not going to make it because we don't we don't want you <laughs> we want people that are going to be successful and if you're lazy you're just not successful this is how it goes and uh your very first day of orientation you're going to do the dot physical Yes, you've probably done one if you're experienced at your own company, but when you switch companies, you got to do another one. And for uh, for the apprentice program, you did one in your CDL school, but again, you're going to have to do one when you come to TMC. That's just how the law works. You, that's what they got to do. Um, big thing with the physical, though, I see a lot of people on Facebook always asking about the drug test, piss test, or follicle test. TMC does the piss test, but I'm going to tell you right now, if you're into drugs, hey, that's you live your life, do what you want, but don't come to trucking. <laughs> All right? It's not yeah, like weed, for instance. I know states are legalizing weed, but uh, you're not going to be able to smoke weed while you're driving truck. All right? It's not going to happen. You get busted driving, uh, driving while under the influence of alcohol or drugs, don't don't ever plan on driving for at least another 10 years. This is, uh, yeah, that goes on your DAC report and nobody's gonna hire you. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. <laughs> if you're into drugs, don't don't get behind the wheel of a vehicle, period. Especially not a semi. We don't want you, stay away. It's just that easy. Um, but as long as you don't have to worry about the piss test, you're gonna do one of those and then they're just gonna do a regular physical, check your blood pressure, all that good stuff. Yeah, so you're gonna do that and then you're just gonna start filling out paperwork. Your first few days of orientation is just gonna be paperwork and tests. I know a lot of people stress about the test because they hear there's a math test. If you know what two plus two is, you're gonna be fine. Honestly, you're, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> it's, it's really easy. Uh, any, any math test that requires a calculator, there's a calculator already, so you're stressing over nothing and then there's the general knowledge test which is just stuff that you learned in truck school and then your tmc policy which you're going to learn about in orientation so don't freak out it's real easy stuff and then you're going to do that for the first few days and then thursday through sunday of your first week for apprentice you're going to do load securement for experienced drivers so for experience, the first week after you're done filling out all that paperwork, you're going to be assigned to your trainer and then you're going to go out for a few weeks. Now, I just want to stress a big thing that I saw when I worked in the office and I've also encountered while I'm out on the road. If you're experienced and they want you to do four weeks, it's not to say that you can't drive or anything like that. But if you've been doing box van and you come into flat bedding, <clears throat> you don't know flat bedding. It's just that simple we put you out with a trainer for an extra couple of weeks because 
we want you to succeed. We want you to be successful. We're not doing it to mess with you. No one's trying to mess with you when you're experienced. We just want to make sure that you're safe and you understand how to do load securement because we're not just throwing stuff in a box and closing the door. It's not like that. That's not how flat bedding works, all right? Um, so it's there to make you successful because while you're in training teams, he's not making any money. Like You gotta be in your own truck to make money. So we're not doing it to mess with you. I just wanna stress that because I've seen a lot of experienced drivers get upset that they have to do four weeks with a trainer. You can drive, we know you can drive. We just need to make sure you know how to throw straps. <laughs> all right. And for your inexperienced drivers, you're gonna do the load scammer from Thursday to Sunday. First day is just pretty much death by PowerPoint. And then that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you're gonna be hands-on with variant different loads in our load department. You're gonna to get to learn the basics of a lot of different things uh, between like um, a lot of steel loads, especially stuff that really requires using chains. Straps are pretty easy to get a grasp of. Chains is usually where it's, um, where you really gotta think when you're dealing with chains. Uh, so you're gonna spend a lot of time doing that. And then you're gonna take a, just a knowledge test. Again, nothing stressful, don't freak out. Uh, the exams at TMC are not hard, all right? I'm, I'm just telling you right now, I got a GED, that, that stuff is easy, all right? Cannot stress that enough. And then your final week of orientation for inexperienced drivers, uh, you're gonna do some yard work, some backing maneuvers, some turns, all that good stuff. And then you're gonna spend some time out on the road with an instructor, another classmate, all that good stuff. Just kind of driving around town, just getting comfortable behind the wheel of one of our trucks. Um, just making sure you understand like basics. And you're not hitting anything. And then you'll um, be assigned your trainer in that time. Now, big thing when they're trying to assign your trainer, they're looking at distance. That's the first thing that they look at. They look at distance. Obviously, they want to get you a trainer as close as possible. Uh, they do look at like smoking or non-smoking because uh, it does bug some people. Just know that if you're a non-smoker, you come to TMC and you get paired up with a smoker trainer. It's literally the distance game. That's all we're trying to do. It's just close to you as possibly you can. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then that's pretty much your your first half or your first step orientation that Friday you're gonna get released and then they're gonna try to send you home. Again, just depending on distance between you and your trainer, but your goal is after orientation to go home first and then meet your trainer, obviously. Uh, and then the second phase or the second part of training is gonna be out with your trainer. Again, experienced drivers, your training is gonna be between one to four weeks, just depending on your level of experience. And then for apprentice, you're gonna be five weeks. All right, um, I know there's a big thing where people are always like, well, I could possibly early release. You gotta be a superstar, all right? Don't, don't, don't think because you went five weeks you're not like a, a good student or a good trainee. That's not it, it's just, you really wanna take advantage of the most training that you possibly can. So I always try to tell everybody, just plan on doing five weeks. Just get out of it as much as you possibly can. All right, and then when you do your five weeks with your trainer, um, you're just gonna contact your trainer, you're gonna talk to your trainer, introduce yourself to your trainer. Your trainer's gonna tell you how they run their truck, all right? We're all different. We do have like a checklist of stuff that we're supposed to go through with you guys over the five weeks or however many weeks, but how we do it is different from trainer to trainer, so just keep that in mind. I'll tell you personally, from in my truck, the first week or the first two weeks, you're gonna really just focus on just driving, getting comfortable behind the wheel, being able to go down the road, staying between the lanes, following distance, all that good stuff. You're just really gonna focus on that and load securement. Into the second week, I'm gonna kind of throw more at you as far as, you know, like more about logs, definitely um, how to work your logs, manage your time, and then like trip planning getting from point A to point B without putting yourself in a bad circumstance, <laughs> like a non-truck route or a low bridge or something like that. Um, and then in the third and the fourth week, depending on your trainer, you can go full team status if they feel comfortable with you. Uh, some trainers just don't do full team status, which is fine. Uh, me personally, I do. That's just how I roll in my truck. And then that's when you guys are gonna start taking more of the lead. 
you're going to be checking in with the customers you're going to do a lot more of the trip planning on your own um, fuel stop stuff like that and then for me personally when it comes to like week three and week four i want you to teach me on how to secure a load so you're going to take the lead and i'm just going to kind of assist again this is how i work in my truck your trainer could be different so just keep that in mind we're not all like cannot stress that enough um and then usually what i do is the fifth week you're going to run the show you're going to do the loading unloading you're going to do the checking with customers you're going to do the trip planning you're going to you're going to do everything and i'm gonna be lazy <laughs> I'm gonna let you run the truck just like it's your own truck I find that a lot of trainees succeed from that because when you have your first week of solo there's a lot of overwhelmingness that you're gonna get it just comes with the job so I find that if I give that opportunity to trainees in my truck to run a truck run my truck solo what it would be like to run their own truck I find that it makes that transition a lot easier and uh, so far a lot of my trainees have been successful because of that. Well, all my trainers have really been successful. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about how that's kind of like a kind of how it works. Uh, if you guys want more detail into that, just watch my vlogs. I mean, you guys see it. It's me with trainees and you just see how it goes. And you, you can actually watch the progress of a lot of my trainees in these videos from the first week to their fifth week. And you can see just how like quicker we're going and stuff like that. I think five weeks worked pretty well. Now, if you're still on edge, you can always request to do an additional week, especially for the apprentice program, if that's what you want. No one's ever gonna deny you extra training. Um, we always want you to be comfortable and safe by the time you get out of your trainer's truck because that leads into the third one, which is going to be release process. Again, you'll go home and then you will release the following week of your last week on a Monday and they'll send you to either Des Moines, Columbia or Brownsburg in Indiana. Those are the three places that we release people from. And then essentially you just you stay in a hotel, show up Monday morning, um, death by PowerPoint again, some paperwork kind of essentially just saying, you know, what do you think of the training program? How are things with your trainer? Um, they do take this very serious. I cannot stress that enough. When I was in the office, we do take this serious. Uh, when we have you guys fill out like surveys and stuff like that, people look at it. It goes f like from the guy that sitting at the desk all the way to the tippy top of the company. They, they do want to hear your opinions. It does affect things. So definitely take take some time and consideration to fill those out if you come to TMC. You'll, you'll meet a couple people, like you'll meet like the log department, all that good stuff. And then you'll meet like driver development. TMC has like a dri driver development team. Their whole purpose at the company is to help drivers succeed. That's it, that's all they do. Day in, day night. Um, they just want you to be successful, so they're there to give you guys the tools and the access to things to make you yourself successful. And then after you talk to <clears throat> driver development, they're going to give you the keys to your truck. You're going to do an inspection of your truck, which is a pre-trip. Just like you've done, just go around, make sure your truck's good. Shouldn't be any issues because they always run through the shop beforehand. And then just check, make sure that you have all your assigned equipment. The cool thing about TMC is we issue your equipment. You don't have to pay for your equipment. All right, that's, that's awesome. I know of a couple companies, I'm not gonna say any names, that require you to buy your own equipment, even as a company driver, which just blows my mind. Um, why would you do that? But Team C, we give you all the equipment to be successful. You can always buy extra stuff, as you guys have probably seen in some of my videos. I have some extra stuff that I use, which I paid for out of my own pocket. But honestly, everything that you need to be successful, especially with the company, TMC already gives you. So you don't have to worry about any of it. Then you'll, for inexperience or for the new drivers, you're going to do a road test and then you're going to do a backing test. Again, don't stress out. You just did it for the past five weeks. There's just going to be some other person sitting in the jump seat next to you in the helm and just double checking to make sure you know what you're doing. You'll be fine. And then for your experienced guys that come to TNC, after you do your PMCS or your pre-trip uh, check, make sure you got all the equipment, you're done. Put your name on the side of the truck and uh, get the hell out and start making your own money. Uh, in your release process, they're going to give you your fleet manager information. So obviously you'll get to talk to your fleet manager and introduce yourself and set up goals that you expect from your fleet manager and your fleet manager expects from you. And uh, 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's, it takes what, two, five, six, it takes seven weeks for inexperience from start to finish. And then experienced drivers, it varies four, five, maybe less than that. Um, again, just based on your experience, but that, that's how the process works. There's really nothing to it. Uh, this is kind of just something that I'm throwing together. So I, that way I have something to put out to you guys this week, because again, I can't show any of the footage for the week, but I hopefully think, I hope you guys found this information useful. I originally thought about making this like a Tuesday dump, but because I've got nothing else to show you guys, I figured I'd do this instead. So again, hopefully you found it useful. Next week we'll get back on track with our weekly vlogs, <laughs> showing you guys what it's out. It was killer because this week I actually did like a POV thing with my GoPro and actually the footage turned out pretty good. And uh, yeah, I can't show you that, but we'll try to do it a different day, maybe sometime this week. Let's see what you guys think of it. Um, I don't know if I really want to make that like a reoccurring thing, but I thought it would just be something cool to change up this week for the vlog. Yeah, sorry the video took so long to put out. <laughs> kind of making it right now, so uh, talk to you guys next week. Later.